So let me show you how to do setup for a vacuum filtration, which is a very common technique in organic chemistry. So you need a few things for vacuum filtration. You will need a clamp stand, you will need a clamp, you will need a vacuum tube, and a vacuum tube is what we call a thick wall tube. So you need a thick wall tube. There are thin walls tubes also. Just make sure you get the thick wall tube for vacuum. Then you will need um, either a Hirsch funnel or what we call a Buchner funnel. The Hirsch funnel is very small, okay, it's for small sizes uh, or small amount of sample. When you have a Buchner funnel, you can have a Buchner funnel like this, which is this size, or you can have a larger one also, all right, because it depends on how much sample you have. The thing about the Buchner funnel that you have to be careful of is you have to choose the right size of the filter paper as well. So for example, if you're using a Hirsch funnel, you want to use a filter paper that is the right size for the Hirsch funnel, which covers all the holes in there. So that's the filter paper you should use. And it's the same thing when you have a Buchner funnel. You have to get the right size of filter paper that will actually cover all the holes. Okay, on the filter paper, uh, on the Buchner funnel, you should not have uh, any holes exposed, otherwise your sample will get pulled through. Now this Buchner funnel is a little bit different than some other ones. The ceramic ones, for example, will not do what I'm going to do now. Okay, so um, this one separates out into two pieces, all right? So you have a funnel also, then you have this little uh, piece of the Buchner funnel, which in case you want to weigh separately, you can actually do this, all right? So this one separates out, so be very careful when you're working with these kinds of Buchner funnel. If you have a larger Buchner funnel, then you get, need to get a larger filter paper. And so, um, that one was 5.5, this one is a nine centimeter uh, size Buchner funnel. So now again, you need a, a filter paper that will cover all the holes in there, okay? And this one also separates out, so be very careful, okay? When you're, you're placing it in the filter flask and removing it from there. So speaking of filter flask, you will need to have a filter flask. So again, depending on what you're trying to filter and how much of uh, substance you're trying to filter, you can use a small one, you can use a larger one, okay? But no matter what kind of filter uh, flask you choose, you wanna make sure that your Buchner funnel actually fits on it. So for that, you will need this kind of a neoprene um, adapter, okay? So for example, in the small filter uh, flask, you will need a smaller one, and that will then make sure that the seal is sealed okay over here so it's everything is going to be under vacuum if you use a larger filter flask then you will need a larger neoprene adapter okay and so now in that case this will be all sealed okay i'm going to use this one because uh, my sample that i have is not that much but it's fairly uh, enough okay for me to filter okay so now setting up your uh, filter flask you will need to clamp that this is a good technique thing, okay? This is good practices. You should, fil uh, you should clamp your filter flask because if you don't, then the tube that you have, the vacuum tube that you have is so heavy that will actually cause imbalance in the system, okay? And it will cause the, the filter flask to topple over. So you want to make sure that you actually um, clamp this properly, all right? And make sure it's sitting on the base here so it's nice and firm, okay? So you need to put the vacuum tube in here and then the vacuum tube right here in the vacuum outlet, okay? So once that's the set, then you can go ahead and set in your Buchner funnel, okay? And so uh, once your Buchner funnel is all set, then what you need to do is turn on the vacuum. And hopefully you can hear the vacuum, okay? So things are now getting a little bit set on the vacuum. Then what you need to do is you need to make sure that the filter paper actually sticks onto the Buchner funnel. So what you will need to do is get a little bit of your solvent that you're using for filtration purposes. Um, I'm using hexane, so I will use hexane to go ahead and wet my filter paper. If I was using methanol, I would use methanol to set the filter paper, okay? And so um, this is how you would do it. And just pour a little bit of hexanes on the Buchner funnel and so you can see that it is actually sticking on to the uh, Buchner funnel. Okay, so make sure that the entire filter paper gets wet. Okay, and once that is wet, it means that it will actually stick to the um, to the Buchner funnel. Okay, so your sample will actually not go through on the sides, it will go right on the filter paper. Once you're ready, 
then uh, my advice to you is as soon as you're ready to filter anything that you swirl it nicely it's all about the wrist action so you swirl it okay and then you pour it quickly onto the Buchner funnel okay and then if you have anything remaining in your filter flask or in your excuse me in your Erlenmeyer flask or whatever container you have then squirt some solvent in it and then again wash it all out okay and so you can use a pipette this one is a pasture pipette you can use a plastic one if you want but whatever it is you can go ahead and wash things out once everything is out then you will go ahead and leave the filter uh, running for a little bit because then what it causes is the sample to dry okay a little bit so keep running it until it is dry and then when, to when you need to check uh, if your sample is dry or not, then you will touch your sample with the spatula. And if nothing sticks on the spatula, then your sample is dry. Okay, so for example, right now, nothing is sticking on the spatula. So it means my sample is dry. So what I will do now is I'll turn off my system. The best thing to do is to remove the tube first. Remove the tube first and then turn off the vacuum. Okay, that's what you need to do in order to do your filtration. Now you can go ahead and weigh either the top part of your funnel, okay, uh, whatever weights you have taken. So either you need to remove this or you can take the filter paper out, put it in a watch glass and then scrape off your uh, precipitate from it. Okay, so this is how you would set up for a vacuum filtration.